project started with um, like a totally personal, uh, visceral connection to the words. A friend of mine recommended um, Lasky to me and I just instantly gravitated to that. You know, you'll be reading a couple lines and it's like, this feels like some kid's diary and then it just hits you so deep and it like got inside me, you know? And it just like, it just like stung and felt really good. The way that in her work you feel this conflict, this, con this inner conflict, you know, or this like, this um, distance between between feelings and reality, or, or, or feelings and outward expression, um, and this like struggle to be true to what you feel. In your fanciful suits and closing signs, you are more than the shining blue room on the afternoon. Cold bite, you are the hot breath too. I take myself into the hot red fruit. I take myself into the living, breathing thing. I take in, I want to be a watery nymph in a wooden grove with you. I want to be a cloud so full of honey. After I sort of got a little bit past like the totally visceral, unironic un connection to the words, you know, I started to see all these other layers of meaning and all these other experiences. And then of course, also just to like, as I got to know Dottie, just to be like, this is a totally different person with a different reading who wrote the words, right? And it's like, who am I to be saying these words, right? To really think about like, well, what do these words mean? You know, what do these words mean? For, what does it mean for me to say these words written by someone else? Um, so, you know, talking to Daniel about that, you know, he suggested ways to, to democratize the, the delivery of the words. I don't want to be beautiful with you. I want to be an ugly, wretched thing. Be scared of yourself. And so I thought of Rachel Perry, who I've known for 10 years, who's this incredible um, visual artist. And, you know, I thought of her because um, her work, her work is so great, and it, like she takes, um, you know, she takes artifacts from like very mundane artifacts that are often like mass produced commercial artifacts from the world uh, around her and, um, and repurposes them into these, um, into these really incredible, often like subsuming works. And so I think the visual element of the piece is rooted in this idea of her, um, you know, her doing this like methodical work. You know, that blurring of the boundary between the outside world and this like, um, and, you know, and, and, and this like domestic space was what I thought uh, would really resonate with this piece. Not a burned out body.